Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Thinking. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon. If you have, thank you for showing your support. Today we're going to continue on with our tutorial series. We're going to go with creating a document in Microsoft Word. This will be a series of videos. So this first video, we're going to cover the several ways that you can actually open up a Word document. You can start a blank document, you can you know, start a new document, and you can also create a document from a template. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. For those of you who are new to Microsoft Office products, there are, you know, when you're using a Windows PC, there's so many ways that you can go and open up a Word document or an Excel document, or sorry, Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint. All right, so first thing, you can either right click anywhere on your screen you can go down to new and as you can see you can open up several different products uh, this one will be Microsoft Word document okay that's one way another way is you hit your Windows button or start button for most of you and you might have the option here if you have it installed otherwise you can just scroll all the way down to the W's and Microsoft Word will be there so let's go ahead and click that all right, as you can see, it will open up. You want to select blank document right here. So we can go ahead and open that. All right, and it opens up a blank document. And we can go through and type in what we want. All right, and you know, when you type stuff, you can see that it's actually going to word wrap the text uh, to the left margin as, as you would when you, you know, by default when you read something. Once you're done typing, you can hit enter and it'll start your new paragraph. Uh, your tab button will actually bounce it forward. It'll tab it forward. Hit your backspace to bring it back. And also, if you want, you can just click anywhere to put your cursor wherever you want. You can see it blinking. And if you want to delete something, you can either place it behind the character that you want to delete and you can hit backspace or you can place it in front of the character you want to delete and hit the delete button. All right? And again, hit enter to go down to the next line. Now, if you, as you type, it'll just continually to wrap the text uh, to the left margin uh, as it should by default. All right, using your mouse, you can actually come here and you can again put your cursor wherever you want if you want to highlight that word double click with your mouse button it highlights the word if you triple click then as you can see it highlights the entire sentence and just to brush back up on some of the layout uh, areas for the actual ribbon so using Microsoft Word uh, your formatting tools you know, will be for your font are all right here. So you can highlight uh, words, you can change the font color, you can change the font effects. Um, you can bold it, italicize, underline, change uh, your font type, and change your text size. And your actual document name will appear right here so you can always see which document you're working on especially if you're flipping back and forth through different documents. This up here controls the window size. So if you want to minimize it, it drops it down. If you want to make it a little smaller, it has a default size, but maximize actually takes up the whole entire window. And down here, as you can see, you have a, pretty much like a progress bar. It shows you your uh, how many words you have, which page you're on. Uh, this is kind of uh, your different modes. So how you can sit there and click and see how it would look in the web. If it was on a web page, uh, this is your normal edit mode. And that is how it would look in a book, which, it, which really comes in handy if you want to see how it's actually looking, especially if you're writing a book. Go back to standard default layout. So say that you're already here and you want to open up a new document. So you can go to file. 
you're going to go to new all right and as you can see it brings up all your options of whether you want to start a new blank document or again you can select from a template all right so for this one we're going to start a new blank document again and again make sure you save early save often okay that way you don't lose any of your work and there's your title bar we are currently on document two if you go down here and look then you'll see that we have both our documents open and you can select which one you want to work on a few minutes ago i highlighted text and i copied it from my actual first document and the way that you do this i can go ahead and paste it here right so remember i showed you how to double click and triple click well you can also just click hold the mouse button and drag over your text that you want to select all right you can right click on that text and you can actually hit copy or you can hit the control c button and it'll actually copy it okay let's copy it and let's click there hit enter a couple times and then control v will paste it it could not use control p because that means print so control v actually means to paste and also a nice little hint is you know don't go all the way up to the top because this is actually what's considered header text so if you click in there it's going to want you to edit the header right and you can hide stuff in the header notes or even the footnotes down at the bottom of the page instead we're going to go right to the left of your first sentence where it started all right let's click out of there so right to the left you're going to come over here and you're going to double click or triple click same thing applies as if you're selecting the entire sentence all right so one click selects that first actual line two clicks selects both and triple click selects the entire page very good uh nice little tip for you there all right with highlighted text you can actually click and drag it if you want wherever you would like and it'll actually move it let's highlight this and let's take this and drag it down and you can see it moves and shifts and again just as with some other videos if you right click on it with it highlighted you can go and do uh, same you know quite a few options of how you want to paste it uh, their font and as well as you can link it if you want to link it to another document or a website what have you you can do all those things you can add a comment which will basically add a comment off here that if you're editing something, this comes in handy to let you know, to remind you of any notes that you have to take. To get rid of it, you just simply right click on it and you can go to delete comment. All right, well, that's going to be it for this one. I'll continue on with the next video. That way we're not keeping these uh, too long for you. If you want to continue on, then go ahead and take a look at the next video in the series. And again, if you liked the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching.